So welcome to today's core workout uh, with me, Jacko from School of Pansex. And today it's gonna be, we're gonna get these guys on fire. We're gonna go for um, a little bit of work with some strict tempos. So we're gonna be looking at three different exercises and we're gonna be doing them in a little round circuit, but the key is gonna be on tempo. So get yourself ready for this and get yourself ready. For, help me count if you can, because it's always not that easy uh, counting as you go along. We're gonna use a three, two, one tempo, which means a three second eccentric, that's the first number, so the lowering portion of it. We're then gonna have a two second hold at the most difficult position, and then um, we're gonna come back in one. We're gonna be doing them in reps, um, in sets of 10 reps, and we're gonna do three rounds of those three circuits each. Now, if you think that each rep is a three, two, one, meaning each rep is six seconds long, and we're gonna do 10 reps, we're gonna get then 60 seconds, or that's about a minute's worth of tension um, for each um, each uh, set that we do. And uh, we're gonna work through that, and one of the, the key elements that we're gonna look for is that time and attention is, and the control when we move through, because these stabilizer structures around the midsection for incorporating your core, their job is to work and um, to maintain your spinal sort of and pelvis position, maintain it in good shapes, and we want that to work. They wanna be, there are more endurance type um, Muscles that want to work for time, so we're going to keep that time and attention high. We're going to keep the control really clean as well. And um, the three exercises we're going to do, we're going to have um, one in a supine position, so on our back. We're then going to have one prone, so then face it down, and then finally uh, we're going to go into a lateral position, and we're going to have some rotation in that one. So we're going to show you each of the three exercises. Remember, it's important that you work where. Uh, your strength and capabilities are. So don't try and do stuff that's too hard. I'm gonna give you some easy variations and some harder variations so that you can scale each exercise to where, um, where, where your own strength abilities are. So feel free to try and push yourself a little bit, but make sure that you're moving with control um, and that you can maintain this, uh, this tempo that we're gonna work to, this three, two, one. So are we ready to get going? First things first. First things first, we've, we've gone past the first thing, let's explain what we're gonna do. Right, we've got a cap on his hair's absolutely horrific. Um, this is what we call um, lockdown hair. But I'll tell you what isn't horrific, i tell you what isn't horrific, and you know, and it's not my beard is looking strong as well, but no, i tell you what isn't horrific, it's my sock game. Now, remember, no white socks up in If you're here for the first time and you've got white socks on, get them off, check these bad boys out, brand new, straight out of the pocket, bam! And you're like, Jacko, what are you on about? They got their white. They know why. The background is white, but check it out. Mushrooms. Got mushrooms on your socks. I've got mushrooms here. I had mushrooms with my uh, breakfast this morning. Love mushrooms. <laughs> right, so are we ready? Take them white, red, white socks off. You got white socks off. On, take them off. We're pulling these up. I'm going to show you the three exercises. I'm going to show you a couple of variations. Um, on each one of them, and then we're gonna get firing into it. So, first one, it we're gonna be uh, supine on our back. So that's gonna be lying down, flat. I wanna make sure that you are, head is gonna rest on the floor, I'm just gonna talk to you. Make sure that lower back is pushing down into the floor. I don't wanna see an arch in space underneath that lower back. Our job that you've gotta think about doing is, rather than if I like stick my bum back and lift my rib cage up, you can see how that creates that arch. Whereas I want to tuck my uh, pelvis underneath, pull those ribs down, and then you can see how that flattens out that lower back. Thinking about sucking your, your belly button in or tension your abs out your head to take a punch. That's going to sort those babies out for you. Okay? Check out the socks. <laughs> Guilty. Right, so the first one, dead book. Lots of you have done this one before. So ribs down, tuck tummy in. I'm going to get rid of the axe, it's going to annoy me. And then our dead bug is going to be taking our opposite arm, so right arm and left leg away towards the ground, and then come back up, and then we swap over. Okay, so our three, two, one tempo would be one, two, three on the way down, holding your most difficult point, so that might be there, or it might be here, or it might be all the way down to the floor, but hold the two, and then back in for one. So three, two, one, Hold your hardest position for one, two, and then come back in. If you want to make it harder, because you can get all the way down to this position where your fingers are touching the floor, your toes just touching the floor there, or just, just above, you don't want to rest them down the floor. 
then if that finds what it's easy for you, you're going to go all the way for a double. Fingertips just touching, um, heels just off the floor. Can you hear that tapping? So I'm not resting, just tapping. Head resting on the floor. I'm not creating loads of tension up through the neck. So that's going to be exercise one in the supine on your back position. Exercise two is going to be on our front in the prone position. That means it's just a fancy word for being on the front. And it's going to be this is everyone's favourite. Who, uh, who's done the sliders with me before? You're going to love the sliders. Sliders, you're going to have nice, beautiful socks, no white socks, on the slippy floor. Or, as we had from J.D. Stones, if you haven't got a slippy floor and socks, then you put a magazine or something down on, uh, on the carpet, and that works a beauty to slide um, along with. So, we've done sliders before, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a, bit of a difference now on this one, where you're going to go on our elbow, from our sort of elbow plank, so we've done a lot of slides with press position, we're going to go elbow plank. I want you, when you're in this shape, to think about trying to create some external rotation at the shoulders. So you're not just, just, just think about trying to be, hands are going to be straight, you're just thinking about cueing that screwing to the outside. And then tuck that tummy underneath, make sure the hips are in line with the shoulders, then you're going to slide back for three, two, one, hold the two, one, two, and then pull back in. So slide back, three, two, one, hold for two, one, two, and then back in. Your job, if you want to make it harder, you just slide this easy, you just slide back further. If you want to make it easier, slide, go slide, so far. So, work through the range that you can, that's a nice easy one to progress. Our final and third exercise, and then we're going to get into the full circuit, is um, going to be our, a barrel roll. So, we're going to be in a similar position, I've just swapped around this time. We're going to be in a similar position where we're on our, uh, our forearms, but then we're going to come up to the side, hold for one, two, and then control back down, one, two, three, and then we'll swap over onto the other side, hold up for one, two, and then control back down, one, two, three. If you want to make it a little bit easier, spread your legs out. You don't have to reach up if you don't want to. Spread your legs out, hold for one, two, and then control back, one, two, three. So it's always the lower down, it's the slow one. So that's it with the legs spread. One, two, and then slow down, one, two, three. Okay? There are three exercises. Now it's about time we put some, uh, some work down and some volume in. So we're going for three rounds. 10 reps on a three to one tempo on each of those. With a minute's rest in between each set. Are we ready to go? Grab yourself a drink. Rich Edwards, he's actually gonna watch back later on YouTube. He's expecting the usual awesome session. I hope you're enjoying it. Hey, Cynthia Taylor on, uh, on Facebook. And then how are we getting on on, uh, on Instagram? We're ready to get going. Happy with the, th the different variations. Thanks so much for so many of you joining in. Oh dear, I've seen someone's got, someone's got white socks on. Just seen, just seen someone with the white socks on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. The crowd has spoken. Let's go, let's get it on. Right, so what was the first one? You said the first one was dead bog, wasn't it? I'm gonna go, um, Alternate where I'm going to do the easy one first, just go on with you, and then we'll build it up in the next one. You can go for the hardest variation at the start if you want to. So, uh, just getting into the center position. Right, out of the way, out of the way. Right, ready? No more messing about now, okay? Focus in, we're literally going rep, 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 getting the volume on, um, and then you're going to start to feel some stuff through. We're only going to rest once we've done one of each of these. Yeah, and then we've got minutes to rest for that round. So, are ready? Let's get going. Remember, three on the way down, two second pause, one on the way back up. So, first rep, three, two, one, hold for one, two, back up, that's one. Three, two, one, hold for two, one, two, back up. Three, two, one, hold for two, back up. Three, two, one, hold for two, back up. Anyone getting reps? That's four. Three, two, 
One, over two, back up, there's five. Three, two, one, over two, back up. Six, three, two, one, hold, one, two, seven, hard counting. Three, two, one, hold, back up. Eight, last two, three, two, one, hold, back up. Three, two, one, hold, back up. Ten, there's this first one. Good on you. Um, then onto the forearms. Straight in, and we're sliding back as far as you can control the good position. Ready? So tuck pelvis and knees, up to me. It's out. Three, two, one, hold to two, one, two, back up. Three, two, one, hold to two, back up. Three, two, one, hold to two, back up. Three, two, one, hold, hold. Back up, it's five, three, two, one, hold, hold, six, three, two, one, hold, hold, seven, three, two, one, hold, hold, eight, three, two, one, hold, hold, nine, three, two, one, hold, hold, ten. Crikey, that was hard. <laughs> These are, they've got to be one of the new favourites. That and Dragonflies. I've got nothing to hold on to in there to be honest with you. But... Right, that's my way of getting a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of rest. Right, barrel rolls. Okay, onto the forearms. We go up to the side. Then we balance. One, two, control down. Three, two, one. Rotate, hold, hold, control down. Three, two, one. Rotate, hold, hold. Three, two, one. There's three. Hold, hold. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Three, two, one. I think that's five. Hold, hold. Three, Two, one, sit, hold, hold, three, two, one, hold, hold, three, two, one. Last two, hold, hold, three, two, one, hold, hold, three, two, one. Nice, good work. Okay, a few pointers. Let's work on them, work backwards on them. So that one, big, 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 big thing on this one is that when we're controlling back down, it's slowly not putting that down until I'm flat. What we don't want to do is just fall down into that position. And then the other thing is when we're in this shape here, I want this shoulder away from that ear, so they're not slumped down here, we're pushing away. Okay, on the uh, sliders, let's make sure that when we slide back, we're not seeing that position where the hips drop down, and we're not too high up. So hips in line with shoulders, slide back to a position where you can pull back forward, not slide back, lose it, and pull yourself forward in that type of shape. We don't want to see that. And then the same thing on the dead bug as I mentioned right at the start. Dead bug, making sure those ribs are being pulled down. So we tucked in tight, we're keeping that lower back touch on the floor rather than seeing that type of shape. How do we find round one? <laughs> Golf. Love that. Good. How are we doing on YouTube, guys? How do we find round one? Probably got 30 seconds left, rest. Quick little drink. It's not cause light, it's water. I promise you it's water. Couldn't do that after cause light. Currently gluten free. Gluten free. Gluten -free. Gluten free for life. Um, right, how far away are we from, uh, from round two? Are we about ready to get going for round two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a thumbs up. 
Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for round two. Ah, uh, Melissa Lopez finding it easy. Good on you. Right, go for the harder variations then. So there's no reason why you can go double arm, double leg. Um, this one's good, good, good. There's no reason why we can't go double arm, double leg on the dead bug. And then if you want to make this hard, you slide as far back as you want on that, um, on that, uh, on the sliders. Go all the way to the main. So yeah, you can make that work as hard as you, as hard as you want. There's no way, round two, second one of three, there's no way, pull them socks up. Mushrooms, mushrooms on your socks. Unheard of, unheard of. You heard it here first. Right, so, uh, here we go. I'm going to go double arm, double leg, cut off, wrist over up, so, tuck pelvis underneath, pull ribs down, you're coming with me. Ready? Lowering down. Three, two, one, hold, hold, back up. There's what? Three, two, one, hold, hold, two. Don't rest on the floor. Three, two, one, hold, hold, Three, me saying hold, hold twice into two pulls. Three, two, one, hold, hold, four. Three, two, one, hold, hold, five. Three, two, one, hold, hold, six. Three, two, one, hold, hold, seven. Three, two, one, hold, Hold, eight, three, two, one, hold, hold, nine, plus one, three, two, one, hold, hold, ten. Boom, shakala, wind it, wind it. How do we find that? I'm starting to feel that. Get a little bit tasty. Now, if you want to make this harder, be my guest. Remember, might bring something a little bit naughty, a little bit spicy for the final round. So, but uh, do push yourself on this one if you can. Not to the point where you lower back arches. Okay, 10 reps, sliders. Get that ass down. Get it down, down. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hold, hold, one. Three, two, one. Hold, hold, two. Three, two, one, hold, hold. Three, three, two, one, hold, hold. Four, three, two, one, hold, hold. Five, three, two, one, hold, hold. Six, three, two, one, hold, hold. Seven, I'm working harder. Three, Two, one, hold, hold, eight, last two, come on, three, two, one, hold, hold, nine, last one, three, two, one, hold, hold, ten. Mr. Jacko doesn't like him when you go, Woo. but you don't even like properly put a burn on. It's like you have to do it. It's like the opposite of white socks. You have to do it. You, you don't have to do white socks. There's so many different colored socks out there. You can use them. Right. Strength these bar rolls. Stop. Time wins and in. Ready? Let's go up. Three. Or one. Two. Then three. Two. Slowly. One. Control all the way down. Hold for two. One. Two. Then three, two, one. Good, that's two. Hold, hold. Three, two, one. Three, hold, hold. Three, two, one. That's four. Hold, hold. Three, two, one. Five, hold, hold. Three, two, one. Six. Hold, hold, three, two, one, seven, hold, hold, three, two, 
One, eight, hold, hold, three, two, one, nine, hold, hold, three, two, one, ten. Try to breathe through the nose rather than through the nose. Anyone else been following on that? Sliders, fey, fair, fairy. Sliders are burners. 100% you're going to feel cranky. Anyone else get veins on their arms? <laughs> That's the sliders. Yeah, it's too much. Don't worry. Mm. Right, minute less. Minute rest, last one. Who wants a little bit of a little bit of spice, a little bit of spice in the last one. Oh yeah, everyone's a, um, your floor's too hard for us. Dan Hicks, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I am put my yoga mat down and uh, here, I'm just like toughening up, just manning up and just like bam on the, uh, on the wood. But um, yeah, 100%, it's, uh, it's uh, a little bit, a little bit unpleasant. Yes, please, people, okay. So, Zlatan. Zatina, Grains Right, Melissa, SH, Mark Horton. Uh, so a uh, great question from uh, so people wanting wanting a little bit more spicy. David Sherman wants a little bit more spice. Uh, go on then a bit of paprika. I'm thinking a little bit of cayenne pepper. Um, so there's lots of you on um, on Instagram as well as on um, as well as on uh, YouTube wanting a little bit of extra. Uh, extra spice. Um, so one question from Mark Horton, a good one about dead bugs, when to breathe. Um, so generally we were thinking about taking a, an in-breath at the start, holding that, so bracing as we lower down, and then when you pull back up, exhaling again. Important thing really is just to be in control of your breathing. Try and breathe through your nose, if you, in and out through your nose if you can, and be in control of it. Um, the whole we can we can hold that breath um, in the most difficult position helps with bracing the trunk. Um, we do that on stuff like if you're doing like dead bug, dead, dead lifts or like heavy squats or something um, to stay to help stabilize spine with a bit of uh, intra uh, abdominal pressure from that breath hold. A dead bug is not something that's like um, maximal like that. There's, we're not loading the spine, um, so um, yes, sort of hold it. Control down, exhale the way back up, try and do it in and out through the nose. But the most important thing being that you're just breathing under control, not like holding your breath constantly and then like passing out on the floor, but just holding your breath and not straining too much. Um, great question. We'll, oh, I'll answer some more questions at the end because we need to get started with the final set. But um, one from Natalie on uh, Nathaniel um, on Instagram. How many times a week do you do an ab workout like this? Me, personally, once now, this is my ab routine. Everything else, my core is integrated into all the other calisthenics work that we do. Remember, if you're doing anything in calisthenics where you're working hard um, on any of your levers or any of your, even your hands and but like any of the work that you're doing with your body weight, when you're using your arms to do something and then having to control the rest of your body, well, then the, the core is the section in the middle that's then definitely having to, um, to work and control. Um, we're not resting on bench press or um, supporting our core in any other way when we're doing um, any of our work. So um, that's just for me. For some people, I like to do it more often. JD Stone's the same, just as core on a Monday here. But you'll be using your core the rest of the time as well. Um, okay, so a little bit of spice, a little bit of a bit, a little bit of paprika, but it's a little bit of spicy. Then we go a little bit of chipotle flakes, um, a little bit of something, a little bit of something chilling. Thinking, um, cayenne pepper is like super spicy. Um, so let's get ready. So we're going to spice up last round. <laughs> Pull them socks up high. If you've got white socks on, get them off. I mean, potentially, if you've got to put them on to do the sliders, and all you've got is white socks, maybe. But come on. So many other different colours out there. Why do you have to go for the white ones? Breaking me. Right. So, last one. We're going to go on our... Um, on our dead book. 
If we're going to look at going, if you can, go double arm, double leg, and then we're going to hold. We're going to have the last rep. We're going to have a max hold. Okay? See what we've got on the very last one of this. And then I'll give you something a little bit spicy for the rest. Okay? Tuck pose for me. Feel that lower back on the floor. Pull ribs down. And then we're going to go, ready? Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Back up. There's one. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Two, three, two, one. Hold, hold. But three. Oops, please again. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Four, three, two, one. Hold, hold. Five. Maybe we'll do it one more. We'll see. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Six. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Seven. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Eight. Three, two, one. Hold, hold. Nine. Right, ready? We're going to lower it down, but you still, you're going to go max hold. Where do you got? But then you got to, you can't just max hold and then collapse. You're going to bring back to this dead bug position. So no failure. You're going like two failure, but so you can pull back up. Ready? See if you can come with me. Three, last one, two, one. So hold, hold, hold. Head resting on the floor. Hold it in there. Fingers arm resting on the floor. Toes arm resting just above. Hold, hold. Must keep your lower back on the floor. As soon as you feel your lower back loosening against the floor, then you must pull back in. Okay, hold, hold. This is like paprika now. It's like the lemon herb that none knows. Now we're getting into the smoke paprika. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Stay with me, stay with me. And then we're going into the polyflex. The uh, hold, hold. Now this is like a stretcher, stretching flex. Okay. Hold five, four, come on. Three, two, one, pull back in. Boom. There we go. If you're still going, good on you. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. On the slide backs, let's really push it now. On these sliders, I want you to go a little bit further every single rep. That makes sense? And then on the last one, you guessed it, we're going again, we're holding that last rep. These are already flipping ridiculously hard. But, so by the time, don't go as far as you can on the first one, so I want to go a little bit further every one, so you've got to engage it a little bit. Okay? Right, you ready? Get the last down. All right. There we are. Okay, three, two, one, hold, hold. Okay. Three, two, one, a little bit further, hold, hold, two. Three, two, one, a little bit further, a little bit further, hold, hold, three, three, two, one, a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, hold, hold, four, three, two, one, a little bit further, a little bit further, hold, hold, five, three, two, one, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, hold, hold, six, three, two, one, hold, Hold, seven, three, two, one, hold, hold, eight, three, two, one, hold, hold, nine, right, last one, push it, push, uh, hold, 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 can you slide up with it, oh, hold, 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 Ah, pull back in. Ah. Ah. Roll just for style. Right? Anyone else remember that we still got another thing to do? Another exercise to do? Anyone else? Like, I'm not being funny. I ain't making them sounds up for. Oh, yeah, don't let you, Dan, don't let you back arch. Only stay in a position. 
where you can hold it. Then work, you need to work to your own ability. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who's ready for the last one? Who's trying this up on the easiest? Okay. Not anymore. Not anymore. Right. I need a second, actually. I'm oh, flipping in an app cramp. Right. This time, when we go into our whole position, we're going to slide. What? We're going to slide on these. You can't just slide on these. You know it. Okay, so you come up to the side, and then we slide away. And control, pull back, and control back in. And then on the other side. Slide away. There we go. Control back in. Okay? You can pull yourself when you come back around and push yourself so you can slide back out again. Ready for 10 of these? Yeah? Let's go. So, up to the side, hold, slide away. Hold, hold, come back. We take over, slide away, hold, hold. One, two, three. Up, slide away, hold, hold. One, two, three, that's three. Up we go, hold, hold, sliding away. Back in, one, two, three, that's four. Hold, hold, slide away. One, two, three, that's five. Up, slide away, hold, hold, one, two, three, that's six. Up we go, up, slide away, hold, hold. Draw down one, two, three, slow on that lower. And seven, slide away, hold, hold. Draw down one, two, three. Eight, that's two, slide away, hold, hold. Draw down three, two, one. Up we go, hold, slide away, hold. And slow down one, two, three. Whoa. Really nice one about that one. That last one is when we rotate away, we're getting that horizontal abduction of the shoulder. Really good around those guys that are stabilizing that shoulder. But as well, because we're, you know, you can see them here, because we're then having to push away, we're getting that nice serratus activation and strengthening in that position whilst maintaining control of the rest of our body. There we have it. There's today's workout. Um, core workout. Try to focus a little bit more on into that midsection, less a lot of the other stuff, uh, or sometimes the other stuff we do integrates a lot into the rest of the, um, they're still connecting into the rest of the connect chain, but it's not, that wasn't hugely demanding um, on the shoulders, if that makes sense. Remember, three positions, supine on your back, prone, is that one face down, and then lateral with some rotations, making sure that we're giving the trunk all of the options and movements that it needs, whether it's stabilizing in the front of the plane, on the side, um, on his back, and being able to control those rotations. And um, thank you guys for watching. If you had white socks on, sort yourself out for next time. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions, more than happy to answer any of them here. Let me know how um, how you found that last I found that last set. I found the whole workout good. Lots of people on Instagram saying they enjoyed it. Mark Horton, were you on? Uh, you're watching on YouTube and on Instagram, Mark. Or, and on Facebook, watching on all of the channels. Um, perfect, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks, Jack. You just missed the O off the end. Oh, so from South Africa, loving your work, Jack. No, oh, my pleasure. Um, Melissa, if you want to go for another round, obviously you can be, you can go. Yeah, you know, some, something you can do in terms of managing, think about managing some of those variables that um, we can increase the, um, the number of repetitions that we're going to do of each of those circuits. Yeah, of each of those exercises. So rather than doing 10, you can do 12, 15, or 20, up to 30 potentially. If you want to get some really high volume, just make sure that you can maintain control and work with that tempo. We could, uh, and or, so we could also, or we could just change the tempo itself. So we can have a, a longer isometric hold and a longer um, controlled eccentric, potentially. That's going to increase your time and tension, even if you maintain the same number of reps. So you could do like a, a 5-3-1 or a 5-3-2, um, 
or a five, 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 where you're going to go five seconds on the way down, five seconds home, five seconds on the way back up. That would be absolutely brutal. And then all of a sudden, each rep is 15 seconds uh, long. So your 10 is 150 seconds. Um, and or you could do um, another round or another set of each of that. Um, they get too crazy. Um, although back in the day when I was playing with, we used to do um, we used to do six sets of 30 reps of three different exercises. Do the math on that. I think it was 1,080 reps in a session, something like that. Um, but yeah, and Melissa, if you want to go for that extra set now, you can go for it. Um, I'm just going to answer any if people have got any questions um, before signing off. Um, do remember that we've got 50% off our memberships at the moment. So a few of you haven't joined the virtual classroom yet, you get a seven-day free trial with our monthly membership. So you can try it out for free for a week. Um, if you think if you enjoy these workouts, you're going to freaking absolutely love the workouts and also the specific programs in there for things that you're working on, like our brand new handstand program, but we've got muscle ups, your flags, levers, we've got bodyweight basics, it's free um, during lockdown. Um, and then we've got lower body foundations, we've got a mobility program in there, um, we've got workout of the week, uh, which is 52 workouts, um, so you can do a workout for an entire year every week. Um, yeah, so check them out, 50% off memberships at the moment, so you get started on standard membership, it's just $4.99 uh, for your first month. Um, details are in the, if you're on YouTube, these are in the description. Remember that all of the workouts that we do here, uh, we've got one every week, Monday through to Friday, uh, all different coaches are involved. Um, Seth is coming up tomorrow with his first one. Tim is back on Wednesday morning at 11.30. George is in on Thursday and then Coach Owen on Friday. Loads of you love that um, uh, full body conditioning with Coach Owen on Friday. That and all the other workouts are on the YouTube channel under a playlist, um, workouts at home or something like that. Um, follow along workouts, workouts at home. Playlist there so you can see, I think there's been probably 50 there by now. Um, something like that or close to. So you can check them out anytime and watch them back. Um, I want to see what was people's favorite today. I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> old and Jack are moving. Yeah, all too great. I know, man. When people say Jack, it's even though it's Jack. Um, yeah, what was your favorite? What was people's favorite today? For me, it's got to be them sliders. Them sliders, like they're, they're horrible, but they're a favorite because they're horrible. But you just know that they're good, like burning a lot. Um, yeah, let us know. What was your what was your favourite? Oh, so, uh, David Gamer. Yeah, we've we've just finished, but you can. Uh, this is going to go. You'll be able to watch this back uh, as soon as this is finished. I'll be able to upload it to uh, YouTube, so you can watch it back at any time. Like all those other uh, workouts. What was your favourite today? Sliders from Paul H. Yes, a member of the virtual classroom, Paul H. Um, <laughs> David Sermon hated the sliders the most, so they're definitely my favourite. Yeah, sliders definitely from Wendy. Stop fourth. RS two five zero four six. Sean Wooten uh, sliders all day. <laughs> Nathan saying love the first exercise because it was the easiest. You can't we can't love the easiest. Um, holding the dead book for as long as we can was my favourite. Oh, nice. That's your, how anyone beat me? That's the one. Quick, go on quickly. What was your favourite? Uh, it seems like it was sliders. And then, did anyone hold longer? I'm sure, I'm sure you did. Did anyone hold longer on the dead ball than I did in the full position? Uh, Kenda, Petri, thanks, Jack. I love the sliders. Good. Messer, sliders are killer, but the favourite, yeah. Sliders is everyone's new thing. And you weren't doing them with white socks on. Surely not. Uh, Ruben always does the dead ball challenge to keep in. Uh, back pain down. Deg bug if done properly is the best exercise. You can do full stop. <laughs> Sean, how long did you go for? He said he said he did beat he's afraid to he did beat me. How long did you go for? Like miles longer. And just you know, he's putting the competition on. It's like he's trying to get me. He's uh, he's one of our students and um yeah, to be fair, like the guy's a beast, he's doing incredible things. You want to check uh, check him out on Instagram, RS25046. Um, it is a great example of if you trust the process uh, and follow um, the, the, the programs and the tutorials that we have uh, at the Scorecast Linux, then you can do incredible things, redefining your impossible for sure. And it's nice because I like to think the student has come greater uh, than, the, than the teachers. 
Um, although, I don't know, better than me. Tim's probably still better than me. Oh, okay, only 10 or 15 seconds. I could have done, I could probably gone for another 20 seconds, but I just didn't want to make people feel bad. Um, oh, Murray, Blade in New Zealand. Man, I've got to come back out to He's been to New Zealand once. i am definitely got to make that happen again. Um, Jay, so someone just joining YouTube late. Um, we've just finished. We've been going 40 minutes, but this is going to go up live. Uh, this will be up on the on YouTube soon, uh, as soon as this is over, and you can watch that back. Um, just one more question. Normally, we'll have sliders. Um, oh, it's a great, this is a great one then from uh, on Instagram, Sahida. So it's just said, normally, I love the sliders, but needed to show my body some kindness. Um, did Caterpillar Walks instead. I have a love-hate relationship with the sliders when my shoulder is good. Yeah, so um, like choosing to not push when it didn't feel right in terms of something feel right in terms of a, like an injury being kind of listening to her body and making sure that she did something that was that felt good is like a great 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 decision um to be made and one i wanted to share that because it's great work again another uh, member of the virtual classroom um big love hey guys thanks 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 right so that's uh, that's enough for me so as i said um, all these workouts are going to be up uh, on are up on YouTube in a playlist um, uh, called Apps Home Follow Along, something like that. And um, if uh, if you can watch them back at any time that you want, if you haven't taken up our fifty percent off on memberships, check that out. You can try it out on a seven day free trial on our monthly memberships. So do check that out. And then um, if you want to get WhatsApp notifications of um, of when all these live workouts are. Um, we've got a WhatsApp notification system set up on WhatsApp. So you need to send a WhatsApp message to plus four four seven eight eight three one six one four three three. That's plus four four seven eight eight three one six one four three three. Uh, the number and details of well, everything that I'm talking about now is all in the, the description uh, on the YouTube video. So if you do want to head over to the YouTube video, um, head over to there and you'll be able to see all of those, any of the links to like the free membership, uh, the 50% off membership offer, as well as um, the uh, the playlist and also um, that number for the WhatsApp notifications. Uh, and then that was it. I did have, there was one other, there was one other little thing I was going to say. Eh, I don't think I can remember. What was the last thing I was going to say? Anyone? Everyone, we're off, we're off. Um, can't remember. It'll come back to me. Um, yeah, check out all the workouts tomorrow. Seth is up tomorrow. Tim on Wednesday. Coach Georgie on Thursday. People are saying that, that she's she's now your favourite. Um, and uh, and then Coach Owen on Friday for full body conditioning. Um, cool. Thanks everyone for watching. I absolutely loved it, and I look forward to seeing you. Um, I'll do my next live workout next Monday, and I uh, can't wait to see you all there very soon have a great week um oh yeah and the fans then just share if you've got any um if you if you if you share your favorite that you did share some sliders want to see some uh, on instagram stories share some uh, share some pictures of your of your sliders and send uh, tag us in so i want to see i want to see some of those i want to see that slider action so on the side i think a, a boomerang slider get someone to take a boomerang on of you doing a slider and show me them badass white those socks not the white socks the badass socks Okay, thanks very much, guys. I'll see you all again soon. Till next time, class dismissed.